You're watching dopefiles.com. I'm the webisode host, Tasha, and we're doing a fashion feature today because you know we feature the new in fashion and music. And the gentleman I have with me, his name is Ray Brown of the Ray Vincent hey. Collection. Hello, how you doing? Welcome, Thank welcome. You. So glad to have you. Thank you. Good to be here. I'm glad that we're like matching in our black yeah, and white. Yeah, we're doing good. Like, anyway, <laughs> it seemed like we kind of planned it out, but we didn't. Did you um, start the line? I started the line in uh, 2008 formally, and my first uh, collection was 2009. I started it mainly um, showing in D.C. initially and then came over to New York in 2009. Tell me how you got started in the fashion and the mm. fashion world. How did you get your start? That was back at home apparently when I was very little. <laughs> I'm told uh, the only time I ever had a uh, temper tantrum was when my mother wouldn't let me wear the matching socks in my shirt. <laughs> So when you couldn't put your outfit together, yeah, you had when I, when attitude. I, I had an attitude. And apparently, that was the only time I did it, so I guess it started pretty young. You were telling me earlier that you started out in women's wear? Yes, I did. Back mm -hmm. in the 80s, I started out with women's wear, uh, women's wear line called Ray Vincent. Uh, and uh, worked with that for a while, and but always wanted to do a menswear line. So once I came up with a concept that I liked, then I was able to move forward with that. Yeah, talk to us about the menswear line and the women's wear line, and like what your um, inspirations were towards the collection. Yeah, I'll start with the women's wear line. The women's wear line is called Ray Vincent Diva, because we, I always see all of the women that are working in the clothing, they're kind of like mm -hmm. divas, but divas in a good way. Uh, they're positive, they're smart, they're intelligent, as well as beautiful. So the clothing goes towards just enhancing that, really. Right. The Ray Vincent men's line is called Ray Vincent Eclectic. And that just represents my personality, which mm. is a mix of different cultures that are all mm. brought together to be cohesive. So the menswear line is definitely a sportswear line of separates, but they happen to be high fashion separates with Asian backgrounds as well as uh, um, African-American backgrounds. And uh, part of my background is Scottish as well. So all that kind of mix in. Wow, yeah, you I'm, have like a colorful background. Ah, yeah, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all over the place pretty much. <laughs> well, I'm excited that you're here. I really want to see the pieces of your collection. Okay. We have some displayed behind yeah. us. This piece here is very much uh, a key staple of the collection in that it's a fitted cardigan. You can throw these with jeans. You can throw a white shirt tie underneath and it dresses up. So it's a piece that you can use a lot, and that's really why it's a staple of the collection. It can cross from casual to formal. Exactly. And I see exactly. this is a variation of what this yeah, is. Yeah, this uh, pattern slightly different, material slightly different, but this is a short sleeve version. Of it. The pant here, one of the pants we do, and you can open this here actually, is a um, double front zipper pant. One of the things we like to do is make them fit but be comfortable. So the back is elasticized, but the front has a double front zipper. This piece here this is very here. interesting. <laughs> One of the things I'm known for is asymmetrical fronts. And the reason we did this one, we wanted a vest that was tailored in the back, as this one is with the three seams. One of my design philosophies is that you have to be interesting coming and going. Right. <laughs> so we have uh, these interesting flaps that are just snapped closed. Once again, this is something can be worn dressy or casual. Mm -hmm. And we throw it sometimes even under a blazer just to give it an extra punch, basically. I like that. It's like a stylish, like, marching band exactly. taking over the world. Exactly. And this one is very, once again, asymmetrical. It buttons up either completely, similar to this style, or it opens up and you can just let it hang. It, ha it has, it flares at the bottom, has an asymmetrical cut down the front, mm -hmm. fuller sleeve, and front pockets as well, and of course, fully lined. The big surprise is always that it has a hood. <laughs> That's the biggest surprise. And then the placket in the back, which gives it a nice finishing touch. That's so swift. Like, it's like kind of Matrix superhero. Yeah, yeah. I somebody said if I made it in this. black, it would be very Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> is there a piece that you have that's like one of your personal favorites? Ah, uh, uh, the, the cardigan, truthfully. I yes. wear cardigans a lot, and I wear blazers a lot as well that we make from the collection. I like something that I can just drop on. And you know, if you're going out with somebody, you don't want to look just like in a sh jeans and a t-shirt. Right. You know, I want to make her look good. She wants to make me look good. So I dress up a little bit more. Now you said you started designing originally back in the 80s. Right. How have you seen fashion change up until uh, this point for well, you and in the industry? Well, I know for, um, for menswear, it was extremely boring. <laughs> so I've seen men actually care about more about what they're dressing as, which yes. is nice. Um, I've seen the growth of industries that were not around in the 80s. There, were, there was no hip hop style in clothing, clothing in the 80s. And when you see that open up, it's great because it builds uh, models, models of color get, get more work now. 
than they did back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you're seeing more of individuality, which is nice. I mean, uh, there were a lot of clones for a while, and everybody wore the designer jeans with all the designer names on them. Right. Now people can go and find something and have a style that's just theirs. And that's, what I, that's really what I've seen the trend move up towards. And your style is definitely unique, as we can yep. see from the collection. <laughs> Just while you're here on DopePulse.com. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ray Brown. Tell everyone where they can find the Ray Vincent collection. Ah, they can find it from my site on rayvincentfashion.com. And you can also catch us up on Facebook. Perfect, Ray. Thank you so much. Your collection Thank is you. definitely, like, it's so cool. Like, I just love the way you do cuts, like, prints and everything. Definitely something that we want to watch out for and look out for. Thank you. I appreciate it. So thank you it. so much for stopping by. Definitely, definitely. This has been Latasha signing out on another episode of DopeFiles.com. Guys, make sure you still tune in for the next episode, and we'll see you later.